All right, there we have uh, big information coming in that Heman Soren, Jharkhand Chief Minister, is likely to be arrested now. Akshita, we know that there's been nearly a uh, good seven hours that he's been grilled, and this is after he's escaped summons multiple times. Finally, he's been cornered by the Enforcement Directorate. He really has nowhere to escape. In that sense, he's the Chief Minister of a state. Uh, he, uh, his security ideally has to know him about his whereabouts. And the fact that he went missing for nearly 40 hours itself raised enough suspicion uh, to suggest that the man uh, could be uh, guilty of the charges that, or the allegations that they've leveled against him. Of course, they need proof. But here the enforcement directorate already gearing up to arrest him. Any time now, an arrest could come about. Shreya, joining us live right from Ranchi at the residence of Heman Soren. Shreya, how many hours has it been that the chief minister of Jharkhand has been grilled here? Um, it's it's almost uh, you know Navila being six hours. One thirty is when we saw uh, the uh, chief minister's questioning begin. And right now, as we talk, Nabila, I will just give you a sense of what's still happening on the ground. Uh, I mean, uh, these are uh, more vehicles that we're coming in, but we're yet to get a clarity on the officials who are over here. Uh, but yeah, the, the the senior officials who are inside are those of the IGs, the DGPs. Uh, the DIG, the, the director of mine, all the senior officials are right now inside as we talk and clearly uh, we're just waiting for the moment of the official confirmation because uh, on the other hand we also have the MLAs and the leaders of the ruling alliance on standby uh, to actually go to uh, the Raj Bhavan because if we see Heman Soren's arrest, that means a possible change of guard for which they will have to get a word from the Raj Bhavan. So a series of developments will follow once that official confirmation that everyone right now is waiting for. But grim action right now here outside the Chief Minister's residence. All right. So so we know that in a little while from now, Heman Soren, the Chief Minister of Jharkhand, is likely to be arrested. Clinching evidence that the ED says that they have found. In fact, they've held on to the evidence for a while now. It's not as if it's turned up. Uh, in the last 24 hours, they've had enough evidence to suggest that, uh, that, that there are allega these allegations could be grave. Hundreds uh, of crores of a scam. Munish Pandey could give us a brief on that. Munish, if I could ask you, the kind of allegations that have been levelled against Heman Soren, the Jargon Chief Minister, uh, what, what are the allegations? Give us more on the three major cases that he is currently being accused of corruption. Munish, if you're with us. All right, we're going to try and patch Munish on that note. Uh, here is uh, Anupam Mishra is also joining us live right from Ranchi. Anupam Mishra, over to you if you could uh, tell us what's the situation right outside Heman Surain's residence. The Chief Minister of Jharkhand is likely to be arrested soon enough, any moment now. Just as the ED completes recording his statement, it's likely that they may take him along with them into custody. Uh, it's been a year that they've been chasing him. Nine summons that he skipped, attended only one. And the tenth one, he literally escaped, where the ED almost uh, suggested that he was missing. BJP called him a fugitive. Now, after seven hours of grilling, he could be arrested any moment now. Well, Nabila, I'm uh, standing at the back gate of uh, CM's residence and this is the back gate of CM's residence and the security has also been briefed up here and why I'm standing, I'm telling you, uh, just uh, a few moments uh, uh, ago, there are two tourist buses and one traveler uh, went inside from this gate and there is high possibility that uh, the Mahagadbandan MLAs uh, come out, uh, will be coming out from this gate to Raj Bhavan. Uh, so this is the possibility uh, that is why we are standing here and there is a high possibility that the plan b which have been chalked out by uh, uh, the mahagat bandhan yesterday in a meeting which lasted for more than two hours that that, that part of plan b was there if something happens to him and soren if him and soren will be arrested then uh, kalpana soren will uh, will be given the baton and that is that is the uh, part of the plan that the all other mlas the uh, at least 42 mlas which is the uh, majority 
mark will uh, come out from this gate and will uh, go to Raj Bhavan uh, subject to the permission and appointment from the governor. And <coughs> the, the, the insiders from uh, the Siemens, CM's residence are telling us that if they didn't get any, if they don't get the appointment of governor, then they will parade all the MLAs in front of media at the gate of Raj Bhavan. This is what uh, the sources are uh, saying from inside the CM's residence. So we are waiting, we are waiting yeah. that the two uh, buses, uh, the 24-seater, two buses and one traveler, uh, uh, they may come out anytime soon from this gate. So who, who are going to be in those buses? Two buses, 24-seater, uh, coming out from Heyman Soren's residence. Does that mean it's going to be police security forces along with Heyman Soren inside with the ED officials? Is that what expected? No, uh, uh, Heman Soren will be taken from the front gate, but the mm. other MLAs, because they don't want the government will be uh, will fall. So that is why the part of Plan B is that the, uh, uh, the, the Kalpana Soren will claim the throne, and that is the part of Plan B. Why and and the other MLAs, Mahagadbandan MLAs, at least 42 MLAs will come out in that in those three buses, and they will go to Raj Bhavan, subject to appointment from Governor. This is the part of Plan B uh, which we are waiting, and they the, these three buses may come out anytime soon if, if something happens to uh, Heman Soren if he's arrested. All right, that's, that's big news there. In just a few moments, we will hear uh, of Heman Soren's arrest. That's what our strong sources tell us. Uh, Munish Pandey is very closely tracking the enforcement directorate as well. We're going to get a word from him. But Shreya, who's with us right outside the house of Heman Soren, Shreya, Anupam Mishra tells us that there's a plan B for the JMM. They're already gearing up to leave in two big buses, but leave where? We know that there was a direction that was given to them to pack their bags and their luggage and stay ready in case an arrest uh, comes about, then they've got to leave uh, to a certain place. Where are they going to? And is there, is there a plan to make Heman Surain's wife, Kalpana Surain, the chief minister? Uh, Dabila, there are two plans in place by the uh, Jharkhand government right now. One, uh, once this arrest is made official, we will be seeing the leaders and the MLAs from the ruling alliance moving to the Raj Bhavan because obviously for the change of guard, they would need an official word from the governor. What we also do know as per sources that in the meetings that were held with the MLAs, there was an official signature that was taken by the MLAs for two choices of name. There was one, Kalpana Soren and Champai Soren. The reason so, that if there is any legal hurdle for Kalpana Soren, there's a possibility that they will be going for the second option, which is Champai Soren. Now we're talking about the second plan. We have seen that there is an FIR. There has been registered against the ED officials who are right now inside questioning and preparing for the possible arrest of Heyman Soren. Now, the FIR is against the SCST Act. It's already registered. Uh, in uh, the police station of uh, Jharkhand and the Gonda police station barely opposite the chief minister how the SHO is uh, given the uh, responsibility to investigate the case. So there's a possibility that when the enforcement directorate moves the rest, uh, the, 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 the Jharkhand police might just uh, also go ahead with uh, alternate action against the ED officials. So we'll have to wait and watch, but definitely what we are seated for is a heavy action drama uh, in uh, the state of Jharkhand and uh, I will continue to give the visuals of the main gate from where any movement can happen anytime because this is uh, where you will see the action taking place all senior authorities including the dgp the ig the dig all are inside their vehicles on standby we're just waiting for a moment of confirmation and the entire saga will continue